Serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network. Under second year head coach, Coach Nancy Hunter, Coach Allen Perry is your assistant, Coach Will Vance, an assistant, and joined this year by Coach Darius Wright, also one of the assistants. Grambling head coach, Grambling head coach, again, is Jackson. Winston Hines, Demetrius Moore, Kyle Jones, Antonio Pierce, great assistant, Craig Epps, men basketball student coach, and uh, McQueenie Smith, men basketball student manager. Got is in green. Grambling is in their white uniforms with the gold shoulders, black numbers, uh, big white band around the top of the shorts, and a small black band, big round black band around the top. A lot of colors on those uniforms. Got to see. With NBSU on front and white. Numbers also in white, trim, and red. Grambling numbers are black. DeAndre will jump at the center circle for Mississippi Valley State. Valley going from our left to our right. Prince Moss is jumping for the Tigers of Grambling, which is going from right to left. Actually, it's going to be Cherry on. No, that's got to be Chris Moss. It is. Nope, it's not. They're going to change that. It's going to be Cherry on Randolph jumping. And they're going to get their basketball to Grambling without jumping it. Maybe there's some violation on Dallas State. Green down that basketball to Cunningham for a grappling. Sends it off top. Off top to Randolph. Randolph gets a pass from Pave Taylor. Taylor, quick pass, Tristan. Gets a steal in. Right side to McGee. McGee takes. And they give the, the two good brickets on the inside to Moss. Ground impression for a court. Got to say, patient, they're coming up the floor. Lob pass right side to Jefferson. Jefferson trying to get inside. At least that to DeAndre. Howard Howard's trying to get that shot of his foul. And Dallas State will get Howard to the foul line. That foul was called on um, Cherry and Randolph. Randolph picks up his first personal foul. First team foul. Howard to the foul line. Three throws up, but that feels short. Howard gets another free throw. Takes his time. A couple of dribbles here. And here's the shot. Is up. No good. Rebound. Grambling. On the board was Sarion McGee. McGee. Front court down inside. Shot won't go by Randolph. And Graham never gets the basketball. Baseline right side. Inbound is the Premier Cunningham. Got a signal to go out the lane. Cunningham running down the ball. Baseline right. Looking in. Looking in the, in the neat. Throws the left side to Chris Stone for the jump shot. He's gripping two. Cameron Chris Stone with the bucket. And Graham is up by a score of 4-0. Back down the floor. Front court. Dallas State. Jefferson. And he throws it. Down inside for the bucket. Toward for Jefferson. Grambling trying to get inside. Inside to Cunningham. Cunningham in the left corner. Cunningham hits with the basket. Stops. Kick out right side of Randolph. And south the power shot. No. Get back to the inside. Scores that one for McGee. McGee with the bracket. And Grambling up. 62. And Grambling will be pressing Dallas State full court. And Grambling will get pressed lost. To the basketball game. Moss was put down to the starter. Nice start. So Grambling will get the basketball. Look at Valerie gets the basketball. Grambling pressing full court. Throws it to Cunningham across the floor. Look at Jefferson. Jefferson to Collins. Collins front court. Collins puts the ball on the floor to the left hand. Coming to his right side against Cunningham. Out top to Cunningham for Dallas State. Inside for the layup. Nice move. Scored for Cameron. Cunningham, his first two points in the ball game, Dallas State down by two. Six to four, Grambling with the basketball front court 
and then from my right to our left, Peyton Taylor with it. Taylor brings it left side to Cunningham. Cunningham drives inside, gets it outside to Taylor for the three-point jump from no good. Ball screen hits the rim, and then hits the top of the backboard. That's the dead ball. And Valley Seven gets the basketball. Graham and still pressing. Full court, 17.54 to play. Here's Hunter front court, right side. Stops on the right wing, gets it outside to Collins. Collins in the first side of the floor. To Cunningham, he fights the three, no good. Gramlin with the rebound, Sowery and McGee will get the board. Left front court come Cunningham for Gramlin. Sends it out of five for McGee with the jump shot, no. Rebound by Valley State Jefferson. Jefferson brings his ball up the floor from left to right across to Hunter. Hunter back outside to Jefferson. Jefferson back to Hunter, first side of the floor. Coach Hunter says, hey, one. Call for no one and Caleb Hunter will say one as well. They're going to set the offense up here on this series for Valley State. Out top. Out top to Jefferson. Jefferson inside with the layup for two. Score for Jefferson. Keandre Jefferson has four points in the ball game. And we have a 9 9 score with 16 3 to play. Probably immediate timeout next dead ball. So there, Cunningham gets it back for Grambling. Free throws up is good. He has four points in the ball game. One field goal, two free throws. He has got a safe front court. Hunter in the paint, throws it up, trying to go with the alley hoop to Leandre Howard. It's going to be a mishandled basketball. Grounding back on the floor. Peyton Taylor with it. Peyton Taylor pips right side of the floor, picking by Moss. Inside, shot is up, no, and we have a foul call. And uh, is that Hunter or is that Cunningham with the foul? It's Cunningham with the foul for Dallas State. And we'll break and we'll come back. Score a grambling 10, Dallas State 9, with 15 people on the play in the, the first half. This is Valley Basketball on GWIR Live Radio. Right Join me Monday through Fridays at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. on the G Live. The Mike Prince Show covers everything that's dealing with the world of HBCU. We cover the world of Southwest Athletic Conference and the Mid Eastern Athletic Conference. We get it all in one style. That's from the Mike Prince Show Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. on the G Live. And welcome back. 15 minutes and 51 seconds to play. And the first half. Gremlin is up by one over Mississippi Valley. Gremlin will get the basketball baseline right side of the backboard. Got to say, Richmond Green going to cover the lane. Travail Cunningham will inbound the basketball. And Gramley will block the inbound play. Two on the elbow and two on the lower block. Cunningham in the lane. DeAndre. Quick pass inside to McKee. McKee puts it up in the for two. Quick pass. He has four points in the ball game. And Gramley up by three. Two eight and nine. Right side. Collins back outside to Hunter. And coach is going to call the play again. Hunter between the circles with the dribble. Foul call away from the basketball. Who's that foul call on? Some physical contact down on the inside. That foul is called on Sarian McGee. McGee picks up his first personal foul. Dallas State we get the basketball base now on the left side of the backboard. Two team fouls on uh, Valley, two team fouls on Gramlin. Gramlin up by three. Collins to inbound. Collins throws it in the left corner to Hunter. Hunter's picked up in the left corner by Chris Stone. Puts the ball on the floor, coming out of there on the dribble. 14 seconds to shoot. No real issue there. Hunter pounds it one on one against Chris Stone to the basket. Steps back, five seconds to shoot. Steps back. 
She's the left side of the floor. She is Jefferson with the jump shot. It's above the tight end. Jefferson. She has a Jefferson with the bracket. Skirts to a one point ball game. 12 11 score. She is Grambling. Chris Stone. Chris Stone. To Taylor. Taylor. Give it to McGee. McGee with the shot. No. Good rebound that time by Keandre Jefferson. Jefferson, you can tell right now, is a player. Jefferson with the ball. A pusher and a stoppage of play. Doing the run all five years. Want to run all five seconds off the shot clock. Cameron Cunningham will inbound the basketball for Dallas State Four side from play reason. Grambling up one, 12, 11, 14, 50 to play. Grambling will get a serve in the ball game. That's Kelsey Edwards. Edwards is a 6 6, 195 pound senior from Dallas, Texas. We're checking the basketball game. Coming out is Cameron Christone. 25 seconds on the shot clock. A mask on the floor. Coach Hunter going to get that mask off the floor. Cameron turned on the basketball on the fourth side. Yeah, you can run 25 seconds with the shot clock. They've done that. Looking in, throws it into Howard out top, going back door and going for the alley oop to Cameron. It was picked off by Gramlin's Moss. Moss down the floor. Moss throws it inside the jump shot. Is up no good by Edwards. Rebound by Valley up the floor. Left side Cunningham. Cunningham working one on one on Cunningham. Across the floor inside Jefferson, and Jefferson is fouled. And that foul was called on Kelton Edwards. Edwards will pick up his first personal foul. And that will give Dallas the basketball base now on the left side. Collins inbound. Collins looking in, holds it in, in the left corner. Left corner to Cunningham. Cunningham outside Hunter. Hunter picked up on the outside by Moss. Trying to get us around Moss. Hunter. He's the right side to Collins. Spots of the shot. No good. Rebound by Grambling on the board was McGee. McGee stumbles, handles that basketball away to Taylor. Taylor puts the ball on the foot of the line, at the foul line. Brings the right side, almost threw it away. Cunningham saves it. So Grambling picked up outside by Hunter. Hits the right side to waiting Taylor for the shot. It's good for three. Taylor, Taylor with his face bracket. It's a three point bracket. And the Dallas State will get the basketball down by. 15 to 11 with 14.04 to play. Here's the Hunter front court picked up by Cunningham. He sends it out high, trying to go to Howard. It's going to be picked off down the floor. Grambling Moss. Moss to a cut in McGee down the lane for the bracket. And he has six points in the ball game. And Dallas State is down. And Coach Hunter would ask for and will receive a timeout. 17 11 score. Grambling up by six. 1347 to play in the, the first half. I have to thank our sponsors, Greenwood City Council, the Lithuania County Board of Supervisors, Mr. Anwan Brown, Mr. Andrew Powell, Mr. McCoy for his personal donation. Also supported by Mr. Sammy Foster. A grambling leader down the state here. 17 to 9, Dallas State took a 9 8 lead over the Tigers. The Tigers snatched it right back in the up right now by six points. Don't want to fall too far behind. You begin to do things that you don't want to do to try to get back into the basketball game. And when you do that, many times you will, will cause you to make some mistakes that you wouldn't normally make. So we want to try to stay around this basketball game so they can run their offense. Seeing a few more offensive sets tonight for Dallas State. Valerie in on the basketball, backcourt near side. Collins looking in. Collins throws it back. Throws it back to Cunningham. They're going to turn it over. And then hey, Grambling going to steal the ball. But Travill Cunningham was standing on the sideline and out of bounds. So Valerie said get the basketball back. So it won't really go as a steal because he's out of bounds when he got it. Jeffrey Jefferson has six points of Dallas State. We're inbound the basketball. 13 43 to play, 17 Grambling, 11 Dallas State. Here's Collins up the floor against Cunningham of Grambling. Collins puts the ball on the floor, stays with the dribble out top. Cunningham moving in on him. The 
the counter zone. He's trying to get away from it. Throws it across the floor, and there's a turnover. A grambling muffle with the ball down inside. It was, and a foul is called on Howard. Howard with the foul. DeAndre Howard will pick up his second foul. Here, check out of the ball game. Checking in for him will be Ronald Williams Jr., the 6'8", 215 pound forward junior from Colleen, Texas, will check in. Howard will check out of the ball game at the 13 minute and 22 second mark. He is a free throw that was rattled in for Kelson Edwards. Edwards is the free throw for the first time, and he'll get on the score column. He gets one more. 18-11 score with 13-22 to play. Here's the right-hand shot. Is up. No good. Rebound by Grambling. Sends it left side of the floor. Cunningham. Cunningham sends it on high. Marker down inside. Jump shot in the paint. Scored that one for Edwards as well. Captain Edwards with the shot. Dallas State with the basketball. Down 23-11. Our side. Jefferson, Jefferson for a side, and going to turn the basketball over. And uh, Coach Hunter's way out on the floor. The official didn't say anything. Yeah, I understand. He's coaching. 23-11 in the score, 12 55 to play in the first half. Gramlin is leading Dallas State. Gramlin with the ball, left side Cunningham. Cunningham behind the screen outside by Randolph. Here's a jump shot by Mumford outside. No good. Rebound snared away by Cameron from Dallas State. He's down the floor trying to get inside. Feeds it outside. Right side to Perry. Perry on the baseline. Cut off. Turn. Spinning. Outside Hunter. Hunter fakes. Hunter leaves to Perry in the right corner for the three-point shot. And it's good. Perry with the three-point shot. And we have a six-point ball game. 20 for Grambling. 14 for Dallas. 12-17 to play. Loose ball on the floor, stolen by Gramlin. Got a ballot from Gramlin. Cunningham with the floor. Inside with the shot. Off the glass. No, ball is knocked around. Gramlin, but gets the rebound. Long pass up to the floor for Moss. He slams it down for two. Chris Moss with the jump shot. He has four points in the ball game. PA got really excited about that. Eight point ball game. Gramlin 22. Dallas State 14. Here's Hunter across the timeline. Time. Immediate timeout, next opportunity behind the screen outside by Williams. Hunter stays with the dribble. He's trying to get inside with the shot. Had it blocked. Blocked and caught by Randolph down the floor. Edwards. Edwards tries to dunk. This one, he can't do it. Ball came off. Came off. And that is get the basketball. Here's Perry trying to get inside. Perry going to throw it away. And he got a foul call in the back court against Mississippi Valley. There should be an immediate timeout right here. I was called on Ronald Williams, the 6'8 junior forward from Colleen, Texas, who picked up his first foul, and there's immediate timeout on the court. Got a state with 14 fouls, Grambling with 13 fouls, Grambling leading 22 14 with 11 minutes and 58 seconds to play in the first half. This is Valley Basketball on G Wood Live. financial solutions and investments. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream. One day, this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all Financial Solutions and Investments is located 200 East Washington Street in Greenwood. For more information, call Sammy Foster at 662-515-5860. You know, it's just a losing proposition. It's impossible, and I don't care who you are, it's impossible to text and drive safely. You just can't do it. for the District of 2020 Vision. And we do know that 2020 Vision is not perfect vision, but it's a sharp vision, it's a clear vision, and it's a focused vision. And this is what we have in the Greenwood the Florida Consolidated School District, as, as well as with the parents and community. We have 
sharp people. All of us have bright minds. We're capable of learning and working together to do everything we need to uh, come together for our children. We're clear. Everybody knows why the school district exists, but parents know their role, the community and stakeholders all know their role. So we should be clear about what it is that we need to do um, to move this district and this community forward. And um, 2020 bid is focused. That means that we don't have time for distraction. We have to keep the focus on where it needs to be. And the focus right now should be on the students in the LaFleur County community. And welcome back. Grambling with the basketball. Now the top is Randolph. Here's a jump shot. Count that one. Uh, Prince Moss, Dallas State will get the basketball. Down by 11. 25 14. 11. 57 to play. He is cutting him for the jump shot. No. Rebound by Williams inside. No, and a foul is called. A pushing foul called on. Williams for Dallas State. That's Ronald Williams. He has his second foul. And Gramlin will get the basketball. They'll work this ball up from right to left. Up by 11 points. 10 to the play in the first half. Here's Mumford. Mumford in traffic to Edwards. Edwards with the shot over Williams for two. Edwards has four points in the ball game. And Dallas State down by a score of 27 to 14. Honor works his ball up the floor from left to right. Honor with the left hand dribble. Honor almost had a screen, not quite. Here's Cunningham. Cunningham in traffic. Cunningham out to Honor. Honor takes left, goes right. Honor in traffic. Shoots the shot in the paint. No good. Rebound by Gramlin's Zahar Monfort. Monfort in the front court. Monfort gives it to Moden. Down inside, jump shot by. Cherry on Randolph. Ramblin has stretched his lead out. The 15 point ball game, 29 14, 9 minutes and 55 seconds to play. Blackwood in the ball game for Dallas State. Clavion Blackwood, a six foot junior guard from Hyattville, Maryland. Here's Hunter. Hunter left hand dribble, shoots it for three. No good. Rebound knocked up by Williams. No good. And the ball is going to go out of bounds. Last touch by Mississippi Dallas State. Tigers of Grambling will get the basketball. Chicken in for Dallas. Terry Wait Collins. Collins has three points in the ball game. Grambling basketball. They're going to work up the floor from right to left. On the dribble. Here's Marfer. Marfer. That's that Edwards. It was in traffic. He's had a blip. Nobody fouled his call. You're going to come back. Yeah, he's taking my doctor team and the celebrations of East Life. Who comes to mind? One of the main things, uh, Lee, that come to my mind when I think about Dr. King, uh, the word sacrifice comes to mind because Dr. King sacrificed so much and gave up his life for, for others. And I'm not necessarily talking about uh, the death of Dr. King, but I'm talking about the actual life of Dr. King. He gave up so much, gave up a lot being away from his family, uh, family being persecuted. So uh, Dr. King also was a man of God, and he was a deliverer of God, delivered a message, and he really, really kept and stay to the tune of what, what God's plan was for him. So I think of sacrifice when I think about Dr. King. Grambling and Ricketts to basketball, 9-18 to play, leading Valley State 29-14. Howard will check in. Ray Williams will check out. That's Ronald Williams. He's checking out of the ball game. He's checking in for Valley State. is Jandre Jefferson. Not first time seeing Jefferson here. Jefferson is a player, too. Keandre Jefferson, a 6'6 six, six redshirt senior from Camden, Arkansas. Grambling. Out top, Edwards. Edwards to Cobb. Cobb to Mumford for three. Good. Mumford with his first bucket, three-point shot. 32-14 score, Grambling leading, 
and uh, trying to steal that ball away from Dallas State, but they're going to knock that ball out of bounds. And Valley will get the basketball back. Ground and pressing full court. Blackwood throws it in. Jefferson. Jefferson up the floor. Jefferson on the dribble. Jefferson sends it out top. Out top, Blackwood. Blackwood between the circles. Blackwood working one-on-one. Blackwood throws the left side of the floor. Left side to Cunningham. Cunningham trying to go inside to Howard. And Howard rolled to the basket. Couldn't catch it. And Grambling will get the basketball back. Arnold was taken to the ball game for Valley State. And checking out is Cameron Cunningham. Gremlin has Trey Michael Moon into the ball game, who's a 6'170 pound sophomore from Shreveport. Also, Terry on Randolph is in the ball game, who's a 6'8 220 pound senior from Dallas, Texas. Moon, front court, picked up by Hunter. Moon goes to the left side. Moon, a handoff pass to Marfa. Marfa sends it outside to Edwards. Well, it gets back into the hand of Marford. He decides to three rolls off the rim. Rebound by Howard. Howard to Hunter. Hunter puts the ball on the left, throw left hand. Sends it left side of the floor. Jump shot by Jefferson. No good. Grambling with the rebound. And they'll come back up the floor in a hurry. Marford trying to get inside. Marford stepped on the baseline. And the ball is out of bounds. Good defense at the time by Terry Collins to force Marford, the heart Marford, to the uh, foul line, to the baseline, and skip on the baseline. So Dallas State get the ball. Grambling on defense. Here's Blackwood working up the floor, front court, going against Moden. Stays with the dribble out by the timeline. Sends the left side to Hunter. Hunter picked up by Edwards. Hunter looking inside to Jefferson. Can't go. Outside Blackwood, right side Collins. Collins throws the left side of the floor. Blackwood, Blackwood trying to get inside. Finds Collins open on the right wing for the three-point jumper. It's good. He can shoot the basketball. Ken Collins. Terry Collins. And Collins will pick up his second field goal. He has six points in the ball game. Grambling up 32-17 with 7.26 to play in the first half. Grambling and Cobb down inside. Shot one goal. And that ball is knocked out of bounds. That's out of state. Jefferson got that rebound. 7-18 to play. There's a media, media timeout on the floor. That time I will take one as well. You're listening to Valley Basketball on a G. Wood Live Radio. Stay with us. We come right back. You can't accept it. You will leave those state troopers without any formality. You can't accept it. You will leave those state troopers without any formality. You can't accept it. You can't accept it. You will do something that will transform conditions here in our family. And so I'm not worried this afternoon, however dark it may be, however difficult it may be. I know that it is true, the truth forever on the scaffold, wrong forever on the throne. Yes, sir. That is another part of that great statement. Yet that scaffold sways the future. Behind the dim unknown standard cross within the shadow, keeping watch above his own. Yeah. William Collins Bryant is right. True Christ will rise again. The Bible is right. You shall reap what you sow. Yeah. I want to say this well, afternoon that the well, tragedy is. Well, Christianity failed to see that it had the revolutionary edge. Yep. You don't have to go to Karl Marx to learn how to be a revolutionary. Well, I didn't get my inspiration from Karl Marx. Well, I got it from a man named Jesus, a Galilean boy, who said he was anointed to heal the broken heart. He was anointed to deal with the problems of the poor. Yes. Those who are in captivity and preach the acceptable year of the Lord, that's revolutionary. Yes. And that is where we get our inspiration. Yes. We go out in a day when we have a message for the world. Yes. And we can change this world and we can change this nation. Yes. Mississippi 
the battle with the basketball, front court Blackwood. Blackwood on the point. Blackwood to Hunter. Hunter tries to the three from the right wing, and it's good. Hunter hits the three-point bucket. And Valley State with another bucket, 32-19 score. Grambling leading with 6.55 to play. Front court, Grambling. Our top, McGee. McGee gives it back right back to Cunningham. Dribble sends it out top to Cobbs. Cobbs drives inside. And he's a jump shot left corner from a player that's not on the roster. Ran 25. Rebound back down by Howard to Hunter to Blackwood. Blackwood across the strike. Grambling 32, Valley State 19. Blackwood out top, top of the circle. Blackwood sends it right back to Hunter. Hunter spins, looking for help. On a spins, and he is fouled. That foul is called on Grambling's Trebell Cunningham. Cunningham picks the foul up. Cunningham picks up his first personal foul. 16 fouls on, no, there's 14 fouls on Grambling, six on Dallas State. That'll end on the basketball. Here's a Jefferson. Let's see what's going on here. Ronald Williams will check into the ball game, and Leandre Howard will check out. And Jefferson bound the ball for Dallas State in the front court near side. Looking in, looking to Williams, gives it in to Blackwood. Blackwood puts it on the floor. Blackwood with the dribble out top. Blackwood in the left side to Collins. He sides it for the jump shot. No good. Ball snapped up by Williams. Rebound by Collins for Dallas State outside Blackwood. Blackwood hits in the lane. Keeps the right side to Hunter for the jump shot. And it spins out. Rebound Grambling on the board for the Tigers was uh, Ryan Kopp. Ryan Kopp on the rebound. Here's Cunningham for uh, Grambling. Sends it outside to Cops. Cops looking down inside. Inside to McGee. McGee inside for the bucket. And Grambling up 34 19. Here's Collins for Dallas State. Collins to Jefferson. Jefferson tried to dunk it, but he was fouled as he went baseline. Jefferson, Kenzie Jefferson again. This is not the first time seeing him. He's a player. Foul is called on Grambling. I think the foul is called on McGee. If that's the case, this is second foul. Not getting any stats around the swag. Could be at 19. 34 Grambling, 19 Valley State, 525 to play at the foul line for Valley State. And the first free throw is up by Keandre Jefferson. Not there. And he gets another one. Says Jefferson. With 525 to play, 15 point lead for Grambling. Here comes a free throw. Good. Jefferson has nine points, but there's seven points in the ballgame with that free throw, one of two at the free throw line. And here's Grambling back on the floor up 34 to 20. 14 point lead. Cunningham. Cunningham feeds the right side to Taylor. Taylor gets the pass away to Cunningham. Cunningham picked up by Hunter. And the back dribble goes to the right in traffic. And Grambling almost threw it away. He is Randolph and foul. Loose ball on the floor. Picked up by the Tigers. Randolph and the shot clock going to expire before they got that shot off. Good defense by Mississippi Dallas State that time. The 34 20 score, Dallas State. The 454. Going to try to save some points off this 14-point lead for the Tigers. Here's Collins. Collins trips the pass. Blackwood. Blackwood coming through the circle. Brings it right side to Collins. Collins squares. Collins steps away. Here's Jefferson. Jefferson hands it back to Collins. Collins pulls up at the foul after the jump shot. No good. The rebound. Cunningham's for a grambling. Coming across the stripe on the far side of the floor. Cut off by Blackwood. Stays at the dribble. Cunningham trying to shake him. Loose ball in traffic on the floor. 
and try to flip inside by Randolph. Block out of there by Williams. Here's a jump shot. No good. Grambling would get that home rebound. That's Peyton Taylor on that offensive board. Taylor sets behind the three-point line. Shoots over Collins. No good. This ball on the floor. I uh, think the ball is kicked out of bounds by Grambling's and Rayhan Cobbs. That's 6'9", 185-pounder. Who was check out of the ball game? Cops. He's coming back on the floor. Is Tyrion Randolph for Grambling? Or is that Cameron Crispin back on the floor? Here's Blackwood out top for Valley State. Blackwood for us out. Hunter. Hunter spots for a three point shot. It's good. Hunter with the right hand, three on the left wing. Hunter has six points in the ball game, and Valley State down by 11, 34, 23, 34 to 7 to play. Back door, and a shot is blocked. Going up to try to dunk the ball with Cameron Christon. And uh, I think it was Cunningham. Or was it Ronald Williams to get him blocked that shot? A foul was called, though. That foul was called. It was on Jefferson. Jefferson with that foul. Jefferson has his first personal foul, so he's all right. 3-4-4 to four left to bid in the first half. Grambling up over Mississippi Valley, 34 through 23. This is Valley basketball, play by play on a G Live. The time has come for America to hear the truth that the hottest places in hell are reserved for those who, in a period of moral crisis, maintain their neutrality. There comes the time when silence is betrayal. The truth of these words is beyond doubt, but the mission to which they call us is the most difficult one. Annie M. Conley is a lifetime resident of LaFord County who is currently pursuing a master's degree in business administration and holds a master's degree in rural public policy and planning, a BS degree in business administration from Mississippi Valley State University. Her work experience also includes tax collector from LaFord County, Mississippi, also administrative secretary from Mississippi Valley State University Community Service, office manager, regional program coordinator for Deep South Network for Cancer Control, administrative secretary from LaFord County High School, Correctional Officer for the Mississippi Department of Corrections. He's also a graduate of the Center for Economic Development Leadership Academy, Mississippi Valley State University, Community Health Advisor for Research Fund, a member of the New Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church in Abena, also a member of the Zeta Phi Faith Sorority Incorporated, Vice President of the Abena Recreation League, and member of Communities for All Ages. And then has two adult sons. Her motto is to live life so that I will not be ashamed of yesterday and not afraid of tomorrow. And in Conley, I'm your virtual community champion. Three minutes, 44 seconds to play in the first half here at Grambling. And Grambling up by 11 and going to the foul line, trying to go up by 13. And he's cutting him at the foul line, free throws up. Won't go. Is that Christon? That's Christon. Could get that first free throw. Steps back to the line. Throws the line for another one. He's a right-hander. Pounds the ball a couple of dribbles. Shot is up. No rebound. Valley State. Ronald Williams with a good screen out. Trying to go over his back was Peyton Taylor, but the good screen out stops that. He has a rebound. Valley State with the ball. Front court. Blackwood throws the right side of the floor. Is Jefferson in the roll? No. And the Grambling with the rebound on the board was Randolph. Back in the front court comes Cunningham for Grambling. Is it our top right side of the floor? Right side to Chris Stone. Chris Stone sees the close side of the floor to Peyton in the right corner. Peyton picks it up by Ronald Williams, trying to get around him. And he flips it, and it's going to be picked off by Blackwood for Valley State. Good defense by Blackwood. No look pass to Jefferson as he gets inside with the layup. Scored for Jefferson. Jefferson has nine points in the ball game. Joshua likes Jefferson play. Likes to play a lot. And it's a nine-point ball game, 34-25. Grambling leading with the ball in the deep right corner. Trying to get inside is Chris Stone, and that ball is knocked out of bounds. Last test by Prince Moss for Grambling in Valley State. Nope, last test by Valley. And uh, 
at Grambling, we get the basketball front court for a stack. Chris Moss turned down. He'd be guarded there by Keandre Jefferson, the red straight guard, 6'6", 190, can play. He is Grambling <clears throat> with the jump shot. Score that one for Cunningham. Cunningham has seven points in the ball game. Dallas State back down the floor. Hunter bags away from the defense. Hunter starts back with the defense. Picked up outside by Chris on right side to Collins. Collins got it outside by Taylor. Collins puts it on the floor. Seven to shoot. Got back to the jump shot. Short. Rebound. Grambling. Taylor on the push. Taylor up ahead to Moss. Inside that ball is knocked away. Good get back defense by Mississippi Valley State. Two minutes, 11 seconds to play. In the first half, Grambling up by 12 points, 37 25 over Mississippi Valley. And Grambling will get the basketball base and right side to their Cunningham will inbound the basketball. Grambling will get a serve and out of the ball game. There will be Peyton Taylor out. Checking back on is, is Kelton Edwards for Grambling. Grambling inbounds the ball. Jump shot, Chris, on no good. Rebound, Valley State. Jefferson on the board, up ahead. Hunter, Hunter stays with the dribble, out top, watched from a distance by the defense. Coming to the right side, going to the baseline, jump pass outside. He Collins takes right, goes left, jump pass back to Williams for the finger roll off the glass. Score that one to Ronald Williams. His first two points in the ball game for the 6A junior forward from Colleen, Texas. And we have a 10-point ball game. Grambling up 37 to 27 is Cunningham for Dallas State on the right wing. Cunningham is a P inside. Inside reverse shot by Chris Stone in his period. So Grambling is up by 12 now. 39-27 turnover on Dallas State. Three on three. And then Grambling inside with the layup. Scored that one for Moss. Prince Moss has eight points in the ball game. And that is stayed down, 41, 27, a minute, seven to play in the first half here in uh, Grambling. He is Blackwood. Blackwood goes the ball down inside, trying to throw inside to Jefferson. He throws away. Jefferson said, throw it high. He's an L loop going high for Grambling. That shot is missed. Cunningham puts it back up. And it's blocked. And he's going to go out of bounds. Good defense by Ronald Williams for Dallas State to block that defense. Good, again, get. Good get back decent by Valley State to stop the uh, layup, and Valley State is down by a score of 41 to 27 with 51.9 seconds to play in the first half here. And here's Blackwood, picked up by Cunningham, back to Cunningham, bagging down on Cunningham. Top of the circle, the square, looking to Hunter, won't go to Hunter. Keeps the dribble alive, 19 to shoot, 39 to play. Here's a jump shot by Blackwood, no rebound by Gramlin, and Gramlin going to bring his ball back up the floor. Coach Hunter's pointing immediately to his bench. Going to get somebody out of the ball game. There's a foul called on uh, Mississippi Valley. That foul is called on uh, Blackwood. Blackwood with the foul. And coach going to call him over and coach him. And Gramlin will get another slip in the ball game. That is Brian Thomas, a forward, 6'9", 255 pounds, senior from Kennesaw, Georgia, will check in. Gulf Coast, Florida Gulf Coast University Eagles, where he comes from. And Grambling to the foul line to shoot some free throws. Here comes the first shot. A one plus the bonus. No good by Cunningham. Rebound by Dallas. Jefferson on the rebound. On going to walk the ball up the floor. 2018 seconds now to play. With that, a third group of one shot down, 4 to 127. Move to the right side with the dribble. Hunter, yo yo's the basketball, steps back, takes the ball between his legs, on the dribble, gets the screen, and it flips across out to Collins for the three point jump, left wing. No good, comes off long, rebound by Hunter. Hunter turns, shoots the ball away, it's the buzzer, got it for two. Scores that one for Caleb Hunter. Hunter has eight points in the ball game. And we have the 41. Are they going to score that? All right, 41-29 score. And Grambling is leading Mississippi Valley State at the half, 4-1 to one, two, 29. You're listening to Valley Basketball. Valley State will get the basketball to open up the second half of play. Outside, Hunter. Hunter. Sends it right side to Collins. Back to Hunter with the jump shot left wing. 
good. Nice shot that time for Hunter. Hunter has 11 points in the ball game. Nine point contest back on the floor. The foul call. Is that on Howard? Howard with the foul. DeAndre Howard picks up his third personal foul. Got his second foul at the 13 minute 22 second mark in the first half. Now he has his third foul at the 19 minute 40 second mark in the second. That's going to get Grambling to the foul line to shoot a couple of free throws. At the stripe is Cameron Christon. Steph Christon with the shot is up and it's good. Christon gets another shot. The 6'6", 190-pound junior from Allen, Texas, has two points, now three, now four points in the gun test. With the foul line for the first time, he has four points in the ball game. Made four free throws. Gets Valley State front court. Jump catch by Collins. Valley State down by 11, 43, 32. Collins goes the basketball lock top. Collins stops his dribble, looking inside to how can't go. Left side of the floor is Jefferson. Jefferson falling out of bounds, throws it back inside to Collins. Collins is taken. Collins trying to get inside on Cameron, lays it up. No good as he tried to lay that ball up over Christon, rather. And uh, a grounding with the rebound in white uniforms coming back down the floor. Valley and Green defending the basket to our right. Here's a long jump shot left wing by Christon, and it is out of bounds. And Valley still gets the basketball back and come up, trying to cut into this 11 point lead 43 32, 19 minutes to play in the second half. Jefferson throws the front court to Collins. Collins of a team throws across the floor and a jump catch to Hunter. Hunter with a deep three point shot off the backboard. No rebound. Check down by Gramlin on the board where McGee is turning him in the right corner to Christon. Christon leaves the right side to McGee. McGee ends out with the reverse shot. No good. Rebound by Hunter. Hunter up the floor. Collins spots down inside. Howard. Howard goes up for the dunk, but he's going to be fouled. Foul is called on Prince Moss. Trying to get the big man involved. involved. That foul, first personal foul. And that's the first team foul on Grambling, 43, Grambling, 32, Valley. They get a Howard at the foul line. Howard at the foul line for the second time. He's over two of the stripe. Free throws up. No good. And Howard gets another free throw here. Gets it back, trying to make it a 10-point ball game. It's 18-33 mark. Here's a right hand. There are seven one shots that rammed out. And uh, here's the rebound by Gramlin McGee. McGee's a big guy. McGee gives it to the point guard, Cunningham. Cunningham picked up by Hunter, around a screen by McGee. To the basket, throws it back outside. Here's a spot-up three, but you know, paid won't shoot. He drives in. Turing shoots over Collins for two. So uh, that one. Nice shot by Taylor. Taylor has five points in the ball game and grounding up 13, 45, 32, 18 or two to play. With the dribble on the right side of the floor. So Dallas State Cunningham. Is it out top to Hunter? Hunter uses the basketball with his left hand, picked up on the outside by Payton. Moving in on Payton. Working one on one. In spins. Is a shot up, no foul is called. Hunter would get to the foul line to shoot two free throws. And I think that foul was called on Cunningham over the Christian. Let it get Hunter to the foul line for free throws. Two free throws. Here's the first one. Follow the shot. It's up good. And has another one. Hunter has 12 points in the game. As the basket. Here's the free throw. No good. Rebound by Grambling's Cunningham. Cunningham going to work his ball up the floor from left to right. Drives inside. Left hand shot. Off the glass. No. You get to the foul line for a free throw. You can throw that ball all the way in. 45, 35, 45, 33, rather. Grambling is up by 12 points. Over Dallas State. Is the shot up? Free throw. Good. 
Trevere Cunningham. From Chicago, Illinois, it's a foul line for the second time. He's three for three at the stripe. Trenton Community College gets it back. The white head band on, shooting the basket to our right. It's up. It's good. 47, 33, better down by 14. He's Hunter to the basket for two. Hunter all the way in, drove it all the way down the court, and scored it. That's 13 points in the ballgame tonight. Hunter's leading all scores tonight, having good offensive output. Grambling front court pace. Payton picked up by Collins. He's been outside Cunningham. Picked up by Hunter. Payton looking inside. Can't go inside to McGee. Instead, sends a left side long range shot. Outside, no good by Payton. But back inside, McGee puts it up and in for the score. And he has 10 in the ball game. Here's Jefferson for the shot. Got it for two. Nice shot that time by Jefferson. Jefferson has 11 points in the ball game. Dallas State trailing by 12, 49, 37, 16, 46 to play. Driving hard to the basket is Cameron Christon and his foul. And Christon will get to the foul line for a couple of free throws. It's a 16 minute, 44 second mark. That foul is called on Ronald Williams. Williams has the foul. He has four fouls on him. Free throws up. Good by Cameron Kristen. Kristen is three for three at the strike. 50 37, 13 point lead for a Bramlin. Free throws up. It's good to two for two. Four for four in the night for Cameron Kristen. Dallas facing pressure. Foul call in the backcourt on Prince Moss as he was trying to guard Caleb Hunter. So Dallas there gets the basketball in the front court near the side. 16 minutes, 42 seconds to play. A Grambling leading 51 37. Collins stand down the basketball in front of Grambling's bench. Takes it in to Hunter. Now gives it to Hunter. And the ball is going to be stolen by Taylor to the rack. Spins out. Ball is knocked around. Grambling would get it. Cunningham with it. Down the lane. Uh, Kristen, and it's cured. Kristen with the bracket. 53, 37, jump shot. Jefferson, good. Jefferson with the jump shot. And Dallas State down 53 to 39. Here's Cameron for Gramlin. Make the cut hand for Gramlin front court. Reverse shot missed by McGee. Rebound by Williams. He's going to throw it away. Gramlin with the ball. Here's Cunningham baseline. Cunningham throws it in to McGee. McGee puts it up, misses a shot. Rebound by Collins. Collins with a bounce pass to Hunter in the backcourt. Hunter facing pressure. Gives it up to Collins down the lane. The left-hand shot rolls in. Collins is the bucket. Collins has eight points to the ball game for Valley State. And a four-point lead for Grambling. Valley State still around in this ball game. 53-39. Is leading Dallas State. Looking inside, McGee scores it. Williams with the foul. It might be five on Williams. Score there for McGee. McGee has ten points in the ball game. There's immediate timeout on the court. We step aside. We come back. This is Valley basketball on. You would live radio. No problem. And I want to say this well, afternoon that well, that tragedy is well, that Christianity failed to see that it had the revolutionary edge. You don't have to go to Karl Marx to learn how to be a revolutionary. I didn't get my inspiration from Karl Marx. I got it from a man named Jesus, a Galilean boy. He said he was anointed. He healed the broken heart. He was anointed to deal with the problems of the poor. Those who are in captivity and preach the acceptable year of the Lord, that's revolutionary. Yeah. And that is where we get our inspiration. Yeah. We go out in a day when we have a
message for the world. We can change this world and we can change this nation. Fifty-five Grambling, four to one, Mississippi Valley with fifteen minutes and twenty-seven seconds to play. Second half action here and Grambling. Gonna get some scores to you from around the swack. Me and scores to you. Alabama A and M trailing Texas Southern with sixteen ten to play in Houston, thirty five twenty four. Pam Bluff is brought back to the ball game with uh, Jackson State. Matter of fact, leading Jackson four to one to forty. And at the half, it is Alabama State trailing Prairie View by seven thirty seven to thirty. Got it to the basketball. And a backcourt violation on Valley State. Coach Hunter said the ball was tipped and went into the backcourt. And I think the false out official also thought it was tipped. The near side official said it wasn't. The false out official said it was tipped. They're going to confer. And it is Valley State basketball. Valley State down by 15 points here. 56 to 41 to inbounds in the game for Valley now is Cameron Cunningham. Cunningham to Blackwood. Blackwood across the timeline, grambling with his own defense, defending the basket to our left now. 17 seconds to shoot. Blackwood walks the ball to the right wing now. Gets it to a bit of a hurry with the dribble. Fakes the pass now in the corner, in the corner to Jefferson. Jefferson trying to get around Randolph. Jefferson in traffic. He's fouled. That foul is called on uh, Cameron Christen. Christen with the foul. Christen picked up his second personal foul. Next year, it did Cameron to the foul line for free throw. Cut into this 15-point lead for Grambling Tigers. The 14.59 to play in the basketball game here in the second half. Grambling up 56-2, 41. Here's Kendra Jefferson. Jefferson with the free throw. Uh, rolls off the rim. Couldn't get there to go. And Keandre Jefferson is at the foul line for the second time. Is one of three. Can he get this one? Right hand shot is up, and it's good. 56 42 score, 14 point lead. Cunningham down the lane, inside up is Moss. No, and Moss is fouled. Foul is called on Collins for Valley State. Collins. His first personal foul tonight. Collins has eight points in the ball game. And this will get Grambling to the foul line for free throws. Get a couple of free throws at the stripe. Will Prince Moss. Moss at the foul line for the first time. He has eight points in the ball game. Free throws up. Good. And he gets another free throw. Gets it back. Takes his time. As the basket, sends it up. Yes. Good. Now let's stay with the ball. Ground and pressing full court. We're still it. Inside. Moss, no rebound ballot. Up ahead to Hunter on the top of the shot. The stoppage of play. I think I'm going to put some more time on the shot clock. Uh, what? Yeah, 27 on the shot clock. Clock had run down to 20 to 19, I believe it was. They put 27 on me. Shot clock. And Dallas still get the basketball. Base now left side. Collins to inbound. 14 42 to play. Grambling would get a third in the ball game. Coming out is Cameron and Christian. And loose ball on the floor. Should be a jump ball by now. Yeah. Players tied up. Jefferson was all over that basketball. The jump ball. Arrow will go to Grambling. And Valley State will get back down to defend the basket to our right. The 14 37 to play. Grambling up by 16 points, tip to 8 to 42. Cunningham works his way up the floor across the timeline. We has Taylor on his right side, then the left side to Prince Moss. Back right side of the floor to Taylor. Taylor to Edwards. Edwards. Going on. Throw it away, 
black woman put the steel, black woman driving in all the way, put the shot up, knocked to the floor, and he was fouled. Black woman was driving in on Prince Moss. Moss would pick up the foul. I think Moss has his third personal foul. Here's Moss has nine points in the ball game. Then get Blackwood to the foul line for Mississippi Valley. Cleveland Blackwood, a six foot junior from Highfield, Maryland. Give to eight, four to three. Grambling leading here. And here's a free throw. No good. One up to the foul line for Blackwood. Grambling will bring this ball up the floor. Grambling. Outside Taylor. Taylor right side Cunningham. Cunningham back outside Taylor. Top of the circle. Four side Prince Moss for the jump shot for three. It is good. Prince Moss with the bucket. Big outside shot for Prince Moss. And Valley State down with the basketball. Six to three. Six to one to 43. 13 40 to play. 18 point lead for Grambling. Here is Perry, Perry had that ball knocked away. Perry's back on the floor. Perry scored his first shot in the ball game. It was a three-point bucket. Now he has it looking inside. And it was a jump shot by Jefferson. Both Jefferson that time very cold and caught back and jit rammed that one through to Jefferson. And he is at Grambling with a three-point shot. Left corner, no good by Prince Ball. But it's going to be now back in and through. Scored that one for Randolph. The first two points in the ball game, a 63-45 score. Here's Hunter. Hunter to Blackwood. Blackwood, no look pass to Jefferson. Jefferson moves inside. Spin move, lays up a two. It is fouled. Nice move by Jefferson. 63-47 score. Jefferson has 18 points in the ball game. Jefferson to the to the foul line for Dallas State. The red shirt senior at the foul line for the N one. Trying to do three point play here. Dribbles. Free throws up. No good. Rebound Grambling. Cherry on Randolph. Randolph sends across the floor. Kernham. Kernham walks it across the floor front court. Brings it. Right side to Mumford. Mumford back on the floor for Grambling. To Prince Moss. Back out top to Randolph. To Cunningham. Cunningham moves in on Blackwood. Moving to his left side. Hooks the pass across the floor to Ellis. Ellis in traffic. Had it knocked away by Collins. Loose ball on the floor. Picked up by Mississippi Valley. Into the front court comes Hunter. Hunter with the dribble. Hunter. Got to stay trilling. By score, 63 to 47. Hunter bags away. 12 24 to play and the second half. Media timeout coming up next to the ball. In the corner, Perry. Perry stabs against Cunningham. Blackwood. Here's Collins square for the shot. He moves in for the jump shot. Off the rim, no. Going high for the rebound was Prince Moss. Sends it up the floor, right side to Edwards. Edwards got cut off by Collins. Sends it outside Cunningham. Top of the circle. Throws it down inside. And there's an offensive foul call. Jerry and Randall for a turn, and he was charged with the foul. There is an immediate timeout on the court at this time. 63 Grambling Tigers and Mississippi Valley Delta Devils trailing 63 to 47. We take a break. We come back. This is Valley Basketball on G Live Radio. The time has come for America to hear the truth. That the hottest places in hell are reserved for those who, in a period of moral crisis, maintain their neutrality. There comes the time when silence is betrayal. The truth of these words is beyond doubt. But the mission to which they call us is the most difficult one. Annie M. Conley is a lifetime resident of LaFleur County who is currently pursuing a master's degree in business administration and holds a master's degree in rural policy.
public policy and planning, a BS degree in business administration from Mississippi Valley State University. Her work experience also includes tax collector for LaFleur County, Mississippi. Also administrative secretary for Mississippi Valley State University Community Service. Office manager, regional program coordinator, Deep South Network for Cancer Control. Administrative secretary for LaFleur County High School. A correctional officer for the Mississippi Department of Corrections. She's also a graduate of the Center for Economic Development Leadership Academy. Valley State University, community health advisor for research partner, a member of the New Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church in Abina, also a member of the Santa Fi Faith Sorority Incorporated, vice president of the Abina Recreation League, and a member of communities for all ages, and in the has two adult sons. Her motto is to live life so that I will not be ashamed of yesterday and not afraid of tomorrow. And in Conley, I'm our community champion. 63 Grambling, 47 Valley State, 11 59 to play in the second half. Here's Blackwood up the floor for Valley State. Blackwood to Collins. Collins trying to get in the lane. He drives to the basket, lays it up. No. And yeah, block and foul call down on the inside. On McGee. Got to get Collins to the foul line for a couple of free throws. The 6-3 junior guard from Kenner, Louisiana, has eight points in the ball game. Can lead this strike with 10. If you can knock down both of these. Here's the first free throw. Good. 63-48. Checking out for Grambling is Kelton Edwards. The 6'6", 195-pound senior will check out. One more shot for Terry Collins for Valley State at the free throw line. It's good. Collins has 10 points in the ball game, and Valley State trailing. 63 to 49 with 11 minutes and 44 seconds to play. Grambling down the floor. Kristen cut off. Right side Cunningham. Prince Moss leads the left side of the floor to Mumford. Gets return pass. Ties it for three. No good by Mumford. Rebound by Valley State. Here's Jefferson up the floor. Jefferson lopes it up the floor across the timeline. Leads it on the outside to Hunter. Hunter short bounce pass to Blackwood. Blackwood. Center of the floor, Grambling playing the zone defense. Sends across the floor to Collins. Collins, guarded outside by Marfred. 13 to shoot. In the corner to Hunter. Hunter steps away. Stays at the dribble. Looking for help. Bounce pass outside Blackwood. Right side, Collins. Five seconds to shoot. Collins trying to get inside. Lays it up. Got it. Nice shot that time by Collins. Get inside. Split the defense and scored it. He has three points in the ball game. Got to stay down, 63, 51, three point lead for Grambling. 10 4 to 7. Can Valley State make a move to get close in the ballgame? And try to come out here with the win. Throws it down inside. McGee, McGee hooks the ball up over Perry for the score. Hook shot that time by Big McGee on the inside. McGee has 15 points in the ballgame. Valley State with the ball. Blackwood out top. Extended zone by Grambling. Blackwood right side to Hunter. Hunter puts the ball on the floor. Hunter going against Marford. Hunter steps back. Counters on. Counters broken. Hunter on the left side of the floor trying to get inside. They, they get back and get back inside. Lays it up for two. Nice move by Hunter. These are shades of Hunter from last year. Hunter with that record. He has 15 points in the ball game. Leading score for Valley State is Jefferson, who has 18 points in the ball game. Leading all scores is a Grambling in the front court. McGee hooks it around underneath the basket, but it's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by. Blackwood to try to hook that ball around and give it to Kristen. Blackwood knocked that ball out of bounds. Grambling, we get Trevor Cunningham, the six foot, 180 pound senior, out of the ball game. Fair would check out the Valley State. Here's Moss across the floor. Prince Moss gives it up. Bounce pass right side of the floor. Grambling, Mumford. And traffic off the glass, spins off, rebound. Put back up by Muffin, no good, block. Ball's put back up inside again by Grambling McKee, no good. Out of the pack and rebound is Collins. Collins drives inside. He's going to be hit. And the foul is going to be called on that mode. On the floor for Grambling. It is, and Trayvon Moden, the 6'1", 170-pound sophomore, to pick up the foul. I'd like to say hello to Mr. Howard Thwaite. You're listening to the basketball game. On July in Memphis, Mr. Coleman, 
listening in Greenwood on Terrestrial Radio. And here's Colin. Free throws up. Ring him out on a one plus one. Couldn't get that one. Knocked the last two down. He's one of his two of three from the foul line. And he has 12 points in the ball game. 9-24 to play. Grambling up by 12. 65-53. Valley playing his own defense here. Three-point attempt. No good by Moden. Rebound by McGee. He shoots it over the basket. He's going to be fouled. Who's a foul called on? Is it on Howard? And it is. Howard has fouled out of the basketball game. Howard fouls out. It's a 9 minute 13 second mark in this contest. The freshmen getting playing time. We'll get better with each and every ball game. And checking in the ball game for the first time tonight is Quarian Walden, who's a 6'9", 215 pounder from Atlanta, Georgia. He's a freshman forward. Here's a free throw by McGee. Good. Big fella shooting free throws. Big fella, 6'8", 255 pounds. Touch on that free throw. Gets the back. Good. He has 18 points in the ball game. Dallas State facing pressure. Front court, Blackwood. Blackwood in the corner. Hunter spots to the free left corner. It is good. Hunter. Hunter can shoot the basketball. Hunter. With that bucket, he has 18 points in the ball game. So does Jefferson. Back into the front court. Grambling. Bumpers throws it down inside to McKee. McKee squared it inside, shot it up underneath the basket for the score. He has 19 points in the ball game to lead all scores. So 69 56 score Grambling leading his Blackwood with the ball for Dallas State. Blackwood behind the back dribble. Grambling 69, Dallas State 56. Is Collins with the jump shot no good? Rebound by Grambling. Mumford, he's a jump shot off the backboard, no good. Rebound by Jefferson for Dallas State. Jefferson picked up that by Prince Moss. A short pass right side of the floor. Collins, Collins watched outside by Kristen. Collins trying to get inside. All the way, lays it up. No good. And a foul is called. Foul called on McGee. McGee has four fouls. Seven minutes, 58 seconds to play in this one. Grambling leading by a score of 69 to 56. We are breaking comeback. This is Valley Basketball on the Two Word Live Radio. Financial solutions and investments. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream. One day, this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created. Financial Solutions and Investments is located 200 East Washington Street in Greenwood. For more information, call Sammy Foster at 662-515-5860. Human Live Sports Central reveals the rawness of the game, the emotion, the motivation, the discipline, even the disappointment. With Human Live Sports, you'll get real coverage in our local and regional high school and college sports. So sport it up with Human Live. Sometimes you get what you deserve in this game. And you deserve to win this game. It couldn't have started out any worse. I've right, got a cure for him right here. Showed a lot of toughness in all phases of the game. We're going to take it one week at a time. you got to put one behind you and move on to the next. Do it. Let's go. Let's go. No worries. No worries. Let's go. we got to win this game, man. Do your job. Help each other out, but don't do too much, even in the physical part of it, okay? We know what we're doing. Let's just do it, okay? And record back scores from around the swag. It's Texas Southern 53, Alabama A&M 35, Fairview 44, Alabama State 30, Jackson State 56, Pine Bluff 46. Here is Grambling 69 and Dallas State 56. 
Better feed at the foul line. One more shot coming up for the freshman, Walden. Walden takes it. Here's the right hand. And here comes the shot. Good. Walden with the free throw. 69, 57. Dallas State still is in the ballgame. Grounding on the floor on a layup. Scored for Criston. Criston with the layup. Push it back, push it back to a 14 point ballgame. Here's Blackwood. Blackwood, top of the circle. Blackwood with the right hand dribble. Blackwood now moves to the left side, looking to his right. Hands it to Hunter. Hunter trying to get inside. Took in the basket. Refresh shot by Hunter. Nicely done by Hunter. Hunter. Yeah, the good offensive ball game tonight. Hunter has 20 points in the ball game. And uh, Dallas State down by 12. 7 to 1, 59, 7 14 to play. Grambling, Moden. Moden swings it right side, Monfer. In the right corner, the two point shot, three point shot, count them for Christon. 7 to 4, 59. Grambling up. Here's Blackwood. Blackwood to Hunter. Hunter trying to get inside. He was fouled. Hunter was fouled. I think that foul was called on the moat. Was it on Monfort? Monfort, I believe they give it to. Here's a free throw by Hunter. Good, 21 points on the night. Kid Hunter gets it back. Looking for point 22. Is up, and he has 22 points. Caleb Hunter. And that Grambling leading 74, 61. 6 4 to play in the game here. Here's Grambling up to four, front court, left to right, and Moten. Moten throws to the right side. Moten to Marford. Down and start to McGee. McGee spins, double team. Here's a jump shot by Moe. Ain't it's good. Moe with a three-point bucket. Gremlin got a lot of passes out there. Found the open man way outside, and he shot it. He's in Dallas State down, 7-7, seven to 6-1. Seven, to one. Here's Hunter with the jump shot. This time it's no good. Didn't hit anything on that one. He was, he was tied on that. 7-7, seven 6-1 seven, score, 6 7 to play. Grambling leading with the ball. Here's Moden front court. Moden throws to Prince Moss. Prince Moss spots for a three-point shot. Deep left wing. And it won't go. Grambling will get the rebound. Kristen sends it outside. Outside to Moden. Moden fires with three. It is good. Moden made a three-point shot. Same spot on the opposite side of the floor. Last time down. He has six points in the ball game on back-to-back threes. And Grambling up by a score of 80 to 61. 19 point lead for Grambling. Valley still with him out in the basketball. In the front court, near side, two inbound for Valley is Keandre Jefferson. Valley State back into action on Saturday in Huntsville, Alabama, taking on Alabama AM. A week from tonight, they'll be in Montgomery, Alabama, taking on Alabama State. We'll get some scores to you. If the scores have changed it in this rack, here's Hunter in the left corner. And corner, Hunter lost the ball out of bounds. Wanted to turn the corner to collide it and lost the ball out of bounds. And that Grambling would get the basketball up by a score of 80 to 61 with five minutes and 40 seconds to play in the ball game. The officials are going to come over uh, with it. No. The officials beckon for uh, Prince Moss or a Grambling player to come over. So they're going to they're going to ask some questions about something. Don't know exactly what. And we'll give you the scores around the swag. We're four minutes and one second to play in the ball game. It's Texas Southern sixty and Alabama A and M nothing. With fifteen minutes twenty two seconds to play in the second half, it's Fairview out in front of Alabama State by fourteen, forty four to thirty, and it's Arkansas Pine Bluff trailing Jackson State by eleven, sixty one. 
to 50 with a minute and three to play in the game. Eight minutes, oh, correction, five minutes and 34 seconds left to play in this ball game. And the Grambling Tigers leading Mississippi Valley Delta Dovers by a score of 80 to 61. Well, I think I find sponsors for supporting Mississippi Valley State basketball on G Wood Live Radio. Thank you so very much for your support. And you too can support us by going to our webpage at www.gwoodlive.com and click on the donate button there. We'd appreciate it very much to help us offset the expense of covering the games. If you've got to sit there during the swag, you will lie, we'll be there also. Or you can go to our cash app and make any donation that you want. We appreciate that. It would help again with the expense of covering the basketball game play by play on G Will Live. Go to that web page and click on the play button. It's G Will Live. You can dial the number on your phone and listen to the ball game. Can you believe that? At 641 741. 0818, that is the game. And also, you can download the free G Wood Live app. Graham Larry gets the basketball. Here's Moden, 80 to 61 to the score. Gramlin leading with five and a half to play in the second half. Going to throw the ball down inside to McGee. McGee is picked up by Walton. He turns, puts it up, no good. Rebound by Jefferson for the floor of Dallas State. And a quick pass to Hunter. Hunter up the floor, working one on one. On Moden in the right corner, Jefferson fires a shot from the right corner, no good. Rebound by Gramlin, Christon down the floor, and Chris Moss lost as he's going in for the dunk. He lost that basketball battle, so he get it back. Here's Collins, Collins trying to get inside, puts it up, won't go over Moden, and Gramlin will get the basketball. We have 451 to play. We have one more media timeout in this ball game at the four or inside the four minute mark. Three-point jump shot out ahead by Moden. No good. Rebound by Vannis Walton. Hands it to Hunter. Hunter comes up the floor from Michael F. to Hart and Mumford. Stay with the dribble. Pitch the left side of the floor to Blackwood. Blackwood stays on the floor, floor with a dribble. Working one-on-one out top. Left-hand dribble. Trying to get his players a cut. He's popping out. His collar's on the left elbow for the jump shot. It won't go. Ball is knocked around, but Grambling and Kristen will get the basketball. And they have pushed his ball up the floor to Mumford. Mumford trying to get inside. Stolen by Collins. Collins sends it across the floor to Hunter inside. Jefferson was going to try to dunk that one. He has a dunk tonight. But that ball was stripped out of his hands and out of bounds. More basketball action coming up on Saturday here on G Wood Live Radio. Got to stay taking on the Bulldogs. And then Monday, taking on Alabama State. The Delta Del Blacks in a good fight tonight. Fair short by 4 56 to 40, 56 to 52. Grambling Lady Tigers, 56 42. 4 4 to play. And the Dallas State trailing here by a score of 80 to 61. Here's Grambling for our court. Mumford. And there's a cam out on the court for media. Grambling up 80. Mississippi Valley, 63, with three minutes and 50 seconds to play in the contest. This is Valley Basketball on G. Wood Live. You're listening to G-Wood Live Radio. G-Wood Live Radio is streaming 24-7. Log on to gwoodlive.com and click the G-Wood Live Play button. G-Wood Live Radio, gwoodliveradio.com, G-Wood Live. www.gwoodlive.com to hear what's going on in your community. Interviews, meetings, sports, and more. It's all there at www.gwoodlive.com and stay in touch with your community by logging on to www.gwoodlive.com. <laughs> This is a special tribute to Coach Sheldon Hodge. Veteran high school coach Sheldon Hodge is calling it quits after 40 years of coaching and teaching. When a person is able to call in a career his or her way, then there are no regrets. Starting his career in 1971 to 1975 at Brandsburg County High School of Stark, Florida, he played for Hall of Fame coach David Hirsch and was a 3A sports athlete, football, basketball, track and field, and 
Camden, in all three sports. From 1975 to 1978, played for Florida A&M University of Tallahassee, Florida. But a Hall of Fame coach, Rudy Hubbard's 1977 undefeated national champion in 1978, NCAA 1AA National Football Championship. From 1979 to 1986, he was an assistant football coach at Florida A&M University. In 1979, defeated the University of Miami and was named defensive coordinator in 1981. From 1987 to 1998, he was an assistant football coach at Mississippi Valley State University with national ranked defenses, NFL draft choices, and black college player of the year. From 1999 to 2006, he was an assistant coach at Greenwood High School. And from 2003 to 2006, he was the head coach of Greenwood High School. From 2007 to 2008, at J.C. George High School of North Carrollton, Mississippi, as defensive coordinator, head JV football coach, and assistant track and field coach with a 10-win football season and state track and field championship. From 2008 to 2015, at the John F. Kennedy High School of Mount Bayou, Mississippi, he served as head football coach, assistant track and field coach, and athletic director with a 10-win season, two-time regional championship in football, six state titles, as an assistant coach or administrator, and he celebrates the memory of the 2014 undefeated girls basketball team for the win 32-0. 2016 saw him as a football consultant at Indiola Gentry High School in Indiola, Mississippi. From 2017 to 2019, at Amanda L.C. High School of Greenwood, Mississippi, he joined a nine-win season regional football championship, coaching in the North-South All-Star Game with Coach Clinton Gatewood. And now Coach Sheldon Hodge is calling it quits after 40 years of coaching and teaching. When a person is able to call it a career, his or her way, as Coach Sheldon Hodge has done, there are no regrets. And here's the pass to the right corner to Jefferson. He finds a deep right corner for three, and it's good. 80, Grambling, 66, Mr. Ballard, Mississippi Valley State, with three minutes to play in the ball game. The final score to pass along to you, it was Jackson State defeating Arkansas Pine Bluff. Here's Grambling down the floor. Marfa finds the right side, no good. Final score was Jackson State, 63, Arkansas Pine Bluff, 55, 54, 36, with 12.09 to play. Prairie View leading Alabama State and Texas Southern, 66, Alabama A&M, 44, in Houston with a minute and 26 to play in the second year. It's Grambling, 80, and Valley State, 66, 80, 66 is the score. There's a timeout on the court, and we'll step aside as well. This is Valley Basketball, play-by-play, July Radio. The voice of student athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network. You're listening to G Wood Live Radio. G Wood Live Radio is streaming 24 7. Log on to GWoodLive.com and click the G Wood Live Play button. G Wood Live Radio, G Wood Live Radio.com, G Wood Live. www.gwoodlive.com to hear what's going on in your community. Interviews, meetings, sports, and more. It's all there at www.gwoodlive.com and stay in touch with your community by logging on to www.gwoodlive.com. This is a special tribute to Coach Sheldon. And welcome back. Two minutes, 29 seconds left to play in this basketball game. The Grambling Tigers lead in Mississippi Valley State, 80 to 66. Leading schools for Valley State is Hunter with 22 points. And Jefferson, who we've seen for the first time, has 21 points tonight. He is a player, 12 points for Terry Collins. So Grambling. 19 points for McGee. 17 points for Kristen. 9 for Cunningham. 2 minutes, 29 seconds left to play in the contest. And 
to the foul line for free throws, a couple of free throws for Valley State is the Jefferson. Jefferson with the free throw good. Jefferson gets one more toss. Yes. One more free throw is up. Good. Jefferson makes both of those. He has 22 points in the ball game. Got to say, Preston Grambling. Prince Mall throws the right side to Cunningham. Cunningham double team. He spins with the basket. Feeds it to right side to Chris Stoneham. Chris Stoneham sends it outside. Mumford. Make that Moden. Moden on the dribble to his left side. Picks the dribble up. Bounce pass right side. The uh, fold up shot. No good by Cunningham. A grambling rebounded by Valley State. Jefferson to Hunter. Hunter to Jefferson. Jefferson pulls up for the three point shot. It is good. Keandre Jefferson with the three point bracket. Just like his game, huh? And there's a time on the floor. We said that we'll come back. One minute, 54 seconds left to play in this one. Grambling State Tigers leading Dollar State. 80 to 71. Nine point ball game. It's not over. Back in a minute. Stay with us. This is a good time for you to try. Curse Night and take out the Crystal Grand. 423 Carroll Eaton Avenue. They're open Thursday through Sunday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Their telephone number for takeout is 453-6530. That's 453-6530. Or visit them online at www.crystalgrillms.com. Stay at home has got a lot tastier. With a curbside or takeout service off the Crystal Grill, 423 Carroll Eaton Avenue, 453-6530. Andrew McQueen is a lifelong Greenwood and LaFleur County native. Andrew McQueen was appointed as the director of the LaFleur County Civic Agri Center in 2002. He was the first African American to be appointed to this position. Before becoming director of the LaFleur County Civic Center, he was the third African American to be employed by WABG TV station and moved up the ranks to become the second African American to manage a department at this local TV station. He started his career at WLEF radio station where he hosted a local show on Sundays called the Coca Cola. Request show. He was also among the first African Americans hired by South Central Bell Telephone Company, now known as AT and T. He has served this community as constable of the Southern District since 2000, being the second African American to serve in this capacity. He's also involved in the community by serving on numerous boards. He's a member of St. Francis Catholic Church and attended school at both St. Francis and Threadgill High. His higher education came from Coralma Junior College and Jackson State University. Constable Andrew McQueen, a loyal citizen of this community. Ground with the basketball. Inside shot McGee, no good. Rebound by Kristen for a grambling. A new shot clock for a grambling. A minute 25 seconds to play in the game. Grambling leading 80 to 71. And that is going to steal the ball. Here's Hunter up the floor. That I need some baskets. Jefferson kick out. Collins open for a three from the left wing. It won't go. Rebound grambling on the board was Cunningham. And uh, Valley State pressing. Cunningham has it picked up as he crossed the timeline by Hunter. Hits for the basket. Shot is up. Blocked out of there by Warden. But Gramlin will get the basketball back with 49 seconds to play, leading Valley by nine. 82 71. And there is a stop to play foul call on the floor. And Hunter, is that the 17 foul on Valley State? It is. And that'll get. Grambling to the foul line to shoot free throws. Going there is uh, Trey Michael Moden. Moden has uh, six points in the ball game. Going to the foul line for the first time tonight. And Grambling will take all their players off the foul lane. Is the first free throw by Moden is good. Moden has seven points in the ball game. Eighty-one seventy-one. The Gremlin Tigers leading. Beautiful complex here. Black and gold, the colors. Free throws up. No good off the front end. Rebound by Walden. Across the floor is Jefferson. J.J. Jefferson comes across the timeline. Jefferson in the right corner. He's foul. Thought is called on the Gremlin. Carry on Randolph. Randolph picks the foul up. His second one. 
going to get Jefferson for Valley State to the foul line. Jefferson has 26 points in the ball game to lead all scores tonight. Again, he's uh, this is our first time seeing him. We've covered all the swag ball games. And he is a player. Here's the first free throw. It's there. He gets one more. Thirty six point nine seconds to play. Eighty one in Grambling. Seven to two Valley State. Free throw is up. Still seven and two Valley State. Miss free throw. And the McCuber gets the rebound. There's a foul call on Blackwood. We have thirty four point seven seconds to play. Valley State down by nine to Grambling. We will take a walk to the right half of the court and we'll shoot free throws. And Valley State will come down and get three on the lane. And Gramley will have none on the lane. They'll just have McGee at the foul line for free throws. Here's a free throw from, from McGee. is good. And then McGee gets another free throw. Talia McGee, 6'8", 255-pound red shirt sophomore from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Second free throw is up. It's good. He has 21 points in the ball game. 83-72, Grambling leading. Down inside, Walden turns, hooks it up, no. Caps it again, no. McGee gets the rebound, foul call on Mississippi Valley, Curry and Walden. The 6'9", 215-pound freshman from Atlanta, Georgia. 22.3 seconds, we take another walk to the right half of the court. The Delta Devil S. Played a good ball game tonight. Very competitive. Grambling came away with the win. 56 to 42. Free throws up. Good by McGee. McGee gets another throw. Eighty-four seventy-two the score. Free throws up. Good game by the big fellow. Eighty-five seventy-two. He is better stay down the floor. Coach Hunter was say, just hey, just Town the air to the ball right there. Did the clock run down? Grambling was said, that's okay with me. And uh, Grambling will win this basketball game by a score of 85-72. to 85-72 would be the final score. Uh, Grambling later the half by 12, 41-29, and they win it 85-72. to Dallas State's back in action on Saturday. And... Huntsville, Alabama. I think the start time is at 4. Catch that basketball game on Jewel Live Radio. If you'd like to support the broadcast, go to our webpage at www.jewelive.com or you can make the donation on the cash app. Thank all the sponsors for making these ball games possible. We appreciate you so much and we need you to continue to do so. Again, the final score for the Delta Devils, Let and the Lady Tigers. 56 Grambling, 52 Valley State, and for Valley State, the final score was Grambling, 85 Valley State, 72. That's going to do for this broadcast. I'm Lee Hall reminding you, if you play the sport or if you like the sport for the kids, please be a good sport. Good night, and thanks for listening. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network.